sit down in the moron chair. What would you like to discuss? Your captain, dear leader? Main feud it. Don't. This is last Thursday. Typhoon Janine. Hmm. Difficult conditions. As you can see, the passengers were struggling. Oh. That's a lawsuit there. That's a lawsuit. And there's another one. It looks like an orgy. Mm. Except instead of fucking, everyone's falling over and breaking their hips. Shocking. Most shocking is the complete lack of crew. Where were you all? Probably just tending to other passengers' emergencies. There's Candace. So. Oh, look. An actual orgy. No, it's a toga party in Krubel. The orgy was later. I wasn't invited. So. A, a toga party? Mm -hmm. In Krubel? During a pandemic? Next time, a Category 2 typhoon hits the ship. Let's put the toga party on hold. Of course. That's a, that's a good note. Well, the cruise industry is used to ups and downs, but COVID-19 has been a tidal wave of bad news for everyone, except boutique Australian operator Platinum Pacific Cruises. PPC Cruise Director Peter Peterson joins us now from the only ship currently sailing the Pacific Ocean. Hello, Peter. Morning, Maggie. <laughs> Peter, it's a tough time for cruising. Oh yes, Maggie. As it turns out, there is such a thing as bad publicity. <laughs> and yet this is a very serious situation. Very serious, Maggie. Um, our competitors have suspended operations indefinitely and, and a lot of them will go out of business, which is a very big shame because their ships are a lot nicer than ours, even with coronavirus. And yet Platinum Pacific Cruises are busier than ever. So tell me, Peter, what are you doing to keep your passengers safe? We have temperature checks all around the ship. Our spas are limited to 20 passengers. And we've put sneeze guards all around the Jimmy Buffett buffet. Just makes you wonder why we didn't have before, to be honest. We probably should have. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, so it's smooth sailing. <laughs> yes. Maggie, we've had zero COVID-19 cases. See, at the height of the pandemic, our ships were practically empty. So you could say that our lack of popularity then is a blessing. Shit. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Live TV, right? <laughs> oh, but Maggie, we are not empty anymore. In fact, our ships are packed with very happy and very brave passengers. Shit, sorry. Oh, okay, oh. Peter Peterson joining us from the Pacific Ocean and apologies if you're watching at home with little ones. We prepared this for three hours. I've been up since 4 a.m. Oh, well, that was, um, I, I don't know what that was. Do you think the captain will be happy? Well, she might not see it, if you're lucky. Mr. Peter. You were on television. You are famous now. Yes. Oh, all right. We better go deal with that sewage leak on deck four. What a beautiful day. It's a wonderful life. What a beautiful Hello. Day. Oh, the lovely couple, or or not, like your sister. I don't know. Welcome aboard, cruise director, Peter Peterson. Yeah, come on in. Take some photos. Don't forget to hashtag PP. Okay. How you doing? No, we don't shake hands on board, mate. Welcome aboard. How are you doing? Uh, I'm not shaking hands. Just make sure you wash them. Well, this is embarkation day, so there's thousands of new packs on board. It means passengers and cruise lingo. <laughs> and they're all desperate to be entertained by one very talented bloke around here. It's not just me, of course. We have many stars on the crystal blue, and I treat them just the same as the little people, the nobodies. Some of the crew don't get that, and they'll refer to the passengers as scum or human garbage, flesh-wrapped shit bags. Uh, but they're all VIPs to me. Very important packs. So, yeah, it's all very exciting. Hello, welcome. Uh, excuse me, sir. Yes, uh, welcome uh, aboard. It's an emergency. Of course, I can help you. Peter Peterson, cruise director. My husband left his medication behind and we can't get off the boat. Shit, that's Glenn Shorick, lead singer of the Little River Band. Excuse me, Jerry needs his medication. It's Jerry Glenn. Really need to turn your hearing aid up. Alvin, 
Here's Alvin. He'll be able to help you with whatever your husband needs, okay? Insulin. Excellent. Uh, no, insulin. Which one is your husband? Hang on. Help is on its way. G'day, Glenn. What? Glenn, I'm Peter Peterson. I'm the cruise director. Director of the cruise. Right. Nice to meet you. Well, take this, would you? Absolutely. It's a pleasure to have you on board, Glenn. It's going to be a cool change for all of us here. Mate, I've been doing this for over 40 years. I've heard them all. Where's the room? Well, it's a long way to the top. That's ACDC, dickhead. You mean it's a long way, way there. there? Yep. I know that one. Well, don't I feel like a lonesome loser? Oh, that's it. Mm -hmm. Room now. Yep, I got it, but first, just a quickie. Good care of Glenn Shorrick, or I will literally throw you overboard. Felicity's replacing Candace, who broke her leg during the typhoon. Thanks. Um, just call me Flick. Hi, Flick. Just my type. Hi. <laughs> Hello.